I'm just gonna be kind of having a me day. Damn dog, like you really- <laughs> <laughs> Damn dog, you really didn't hit me up. Like, <laughs> Right now I'm just kind of getting my day started, but I woke up and I thought to myself, gee, it would be kind of nice to go hit some stuff, so. What? Okay, car. I am actually heading to Rumble. Boxing interval training class. It's actually really good. I do notice when I go to this class, I feel way better. It improves my day immensely, so. Uh, I skipped it yesterday just to kind of get some stuff done, but today we are well on our way. I'm gonna hit some bags. Look at this dog over here attacking people. Lady, what are you doing? About to go hit some bags. Oh, wait, can you hear me? No, what'd you say? Oh, uh, I said, I can call someone. I'll call you right back. <laughs> okay. If I don't answer, I'm inside okay, Rumble. Bye. Okay, bye. Gotta take this mask with us. It's just crazy because, you know, it's like getting back into the world and being around other people. I definitely notice just there's so many more stressors. It's like dealing with different social situations just feels different. Hi! Good. Ready to go hit some bags? Ready. <laughs> my workout at Rumble and it was very challenging but definitely good for my stress levels I feel calm I feel tired which might be also why I feel calm but I feel good I'm glad I made it where's my parking thing where are you I do this every single time does anybody else like whenever you get a little parking ticket thingy to get in and out of a garage does anybody else literally have it in their hand the amount of times i will literally have something in my hand and then just drop it or just place it somewhere and have no idea where it is it was just in my hand i literally just had it in my hand i don't understand like how i just oh i was sitting on it it's all crumbled hopefully it still scans now i will say Rumble is a little further away from me. It's worth it to me because I feel like when I go, I am just in so much of a better mood. Mm -hmm. I think if you can find something that you really love doing, even if it's a little further, it just becomes part of your team. It is kind of a longer drive to get there, but it's worth it for me because I actually push myself during the workout and I genuinely enjoy it. If you find something that you enjoy doing, just like make the time to do it. I make this drive up here, get the workout done, and then I make the drive back. I actually hate driving, but I find that because it's part of my routine, it's actually part of my relaxation for the day. Traffic is horrible, but it's actually time that I set aside that I'm not doing anything else but driving. It's time that I can just kind of like think about stuff and zone out and just like problem solve things or I don't know. Oh man. I feel like I just literally hit a wall because I was so busy getting these gains. It's just worth it. All of this has to do with me taking care of me. Honestly, it was a really big thing for me when 
I was really grieving my breakup. It was also just time that I had to myself that I would literally just like think about stuff and I'd be still doing an activity, but it kept me busy too. Instead of just laying at home and being sad and, and miserable, making it a part of the routine and taking up some of that time definitely made things a little easier. Just kind of like taking care of yourself. And it's just, it's so important to do that. It just is. Once you start to spend that time and invest it into yourself, you'll start to feel better too. You'll start to feel like, okay, like this is what I have going on. You should never feel bad that in your free time you want to just be with yourself because that's how you nurture yourself. And it shouldn't feel any less productive because you're still enriching yourself. Are you crossing the street, sir? I just got done cleaning and organizing my office and I thought I would head down to the beach just to catch the sunset because it's really nice out and that's just what I want to do right now you know I'm actually meeting Ben with his volleyball friends because it's taco Tuesday and they always go to this place after they play volleyball and the tacos are actually really bomb before I become a grouch I'd like to eat something Walk up to the place that we're getting tacos. Ben already ordered my tacos. He said they're ready. But I just feel so out of place and uncomfortable. I don't really want to be social like that. I know like this past year has changed things for a lot of people, myself included, but I just like don't, I don't really want to be meeting people like that and just like investing energy and time into like superficial conversations. So it just kind of makes me anxious anytime I'm in a situation like this where I have to be around a lot of people that I don't know like that and I have to be sociable. I'm actually like a pretty social person, but it's just like, I'm not really, like damn dude, like sometimes you just don't want to meet people like that. I really just want to eat my taco and go. Time to go be social. It was collective because I had a tab. Uh, Bob bought like the first round. Thanks for getting me this taco. next day and I am super excited because my best friend Oliver is in town. He uh, moved to St. Thomas during quarantine like a lot of people. They moved out of LA and he's been gone for probably I want to say a year and a half. He is living in St. Thomas doing his island boy ting bo bo and uh, I'm so excited. You're here! Hey, You're really up? here! Hi! Hi hair! You didn't have hair last time I saw you. I know, I know. Wow. Look at it. Nice stuff. shoes. Thank you. You're welcome. My brother's like, there's flies. Don't let the flies in. <laughs> this is Oliver. Say oh, hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> You're like, oh no. <laughs> uh. like, how long is it? Anyway, when did you get here? Last night, like 11 30. Oh, okay. I was like, damn dog like you really <laughs> <laughs> damn dog you really didn't hit me up <laughs> you like, didn't hit me up when you got here stop. what is this yeah it's only been a day you should have called me the moment that you landed but right. are you cold are you hot no i want more i see okay. yeah. how was the flight how long is the flight um it was spirit so oh, okay spirit 
Did you I have to pay for fresh air? <laughs> um, as we're landing, the the pilot goes like, "All right, guys, uh, flip your, tray tra your your trays up and your seats forward." We just look around like our seats forward. <laughs> Only, this shit don't even move at all. <laughs> At all. It's like you forgot what plane you're flying. <laughs> so we decided to come to Sugarfish instead, and it's Oliver's first time! Yay! With me! I'm happy. I'm smiling. <laughs> So I just dropped Oliver off. We had a great lunch at Sugarfish. I love Sugarfish. Man, you know, sometimes you just have those friends that you just see and it's like, because you know part of their journey. It's just such an awesome thing to see people evolve over time. I only have a couple of really close friends like that that I can really say I can understand their story and their journey in that way. And It's just really nice to connect like that. Such a nice surprise to just spontaneously plan a lunch together, get together, and catch up. It's just so enriching. Now I'm on my way home. Probably try and get some editing done tonight. Thank you. Maybe go to the beach at some point today and call it a day. bit ago and I'm just kind of enjoying sitting in the sun just kind of relaxing and enjoying the rest of what is left of today but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye